Hello and welcome to Bitfumes Angular 5 series and in this episode we are going to create new component in our Angular project just like this we have in our source folder this is the component but we are going to create a new component called something okay so let's open terminal for our project so let's go open terminal and if you are on Windows you have to open command prompt so here I will say ng generate generate and then the what we are going to generate then we are going to generate component so component and here comes the component name and let's call it Pokemon okay so let's hit enter and it will now generate a new component for our project so if I go to sublime and I go to this app folder you can see we have a new folder called Pokemon and in this folder we have four files again one for the component itself which define the component name and its template URL so template URL is again Pokemon component dot HTML and then if we like to give a CSS properties something like styling so we have this file so let's see how we can use this Pokemon component we have just created in our app so if we go to component.html we can see we have a p-text saying Pokemon works that's good and again in Pokemon.component.ts the component name is app hyphen Pokemon so let's just copy this one from here and go to our app component the basic component and here I will just do one thing I will just uh, let's just remove everything <laughs> okay and now paste this component and save it and obviously we have to start our server so ng serve and hyphen open o okay so o stand for open it will compile and it will open the project in our Chrome with a local host colon 4200 and here we have it's just loading in some minute or second and you can see we have Pokemon work written here that's very nice congratulations you have successfully created a new component in our project so let's get work on something else what if I want to say here the Pokemon name so let's say Pikachu Pikachu is a Pokemon I have to say this but I don't want to hard code this Pikachu I want this to be come from something else maybe from server so instead of this I will say name okay so this name property we have to define obviously in our component so I will go to pokemon.component.ts and here just a simple step to define this name is equal to Pikachu and it's done save this file go to Chrome and you can see Pikachu is a Pokemon so this is cool okay so this is the way we can define some uh, variable or object array here and then simply we can use it here that's pretty easy okay so let's now do something else let's create a new file called uh, list.ts because angular has a typescript base so let's do with .ts extension list.ts is here and I'm going to say export and export let's say constant and constant name is uh, again simply list and this is going to be like firstly that has to be array and now inside array I will give it one object called firstly name which is Pikachu and then I will say its type so type is electric so electric okay so I think you are familiar with Pokemon and Pikachu Pikachu is my favorite and let's just try to get these fields these data 
from our component to our HTML part. So in our components, if I go to component, I have to import this file firstly. So first say import list where from it's pretty easy you can see I'm just saying that and I'm writing the same thing so import list from dot and slash and then comes list and we don't have to type dot ts okay so simply list and as we have this in our component we can just define that name is an array which is equal to list okay this means if i can go to my component dot html instead of name let's just see what we are getting on chrome ah we are not getting anything let's open console and in the console we have error and this error say list is not defined something is wrong here let's go and in the component let's move it here okay so it says list is not defined because I have used capital L and here I have used small l so let's just make it capital L now go to Chrome and it says object object is Pokemon it's, it's not giving any kind of error but it says uh, the thing you are going to use here the thing you are going to use here the name is actually an object yeah, I think you have to do something else so let's you let's do something else so instead of name again I will say list so this will be same list as capital L list and here I will say list dot name and let's go to Chrome and is a Pokemon this means it's not again giving any kind of error it says uh, there's no property like this name okay so what happens here we have given this list okay so wanna do one thing instead of this array let's just give this object only so if I go you can see Pikachu is a Pokemon that's cool awesome that means if we can go and we can extend this list to various Pokemons and we can loop through all these things and that looping part we will do in the next episode but one thing also remains here let's suppose you want to change this or access this in our text box so how we will do that so let's go and create a new text box here on not here where is that yeah here so let's create a new text box so I will say input and I don't have to divide define any type and here I will say ng model but this is not enough we have to wrap this in square brackets then in parenthesis and ng model is equal to list dot name and what this will reflect let's go to Chrome and it says some error which says can't bind ng model why is that because angular is having great great library and we have to import whatever we need so we have to tell our angular that hey angular we want to use some form data or form model type thing so let's just grab that so i will say import form module from at angular slash forms and by the way this is not with small f capital f and its forms module and most importantly this will not come here this will come in our basic this one app dot module dot ts where we are importing various modules from uh, angular library or angular core okay so now we have imported that let's use it in our module import so here I will say browser module then forms module that's okay and let's go Chrome ah, it's not doing things refresh it and yes it's doing that thing this means if I change here and you can see it's two-way binded and similarly we can change it 
everything we want or anything we want <laughs> okay so if you have learned something from bitfumes and you want to support just go to patreon.com and you can donate one dollar or more and if you have any doubt feel free to message me comment me and don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram so we will meet in the next episode to do that looping part and till then goodbye